Hey everyone, Josh here with a look at another Star Wars toy. And today we're looking at a toy from Episode 4, A New Hope. This is Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder. And I'm sure all of you remember this vehicle from that movie. It's very prominent. And as you can see, we got two figures loaded in there. And it does hold two figures. I got Luke and Obi-Wan in there as you can see and the figures do come out so I'm gonna go ahead and pop them out so we can take a look at the ship a little closer and there you have Power of the Force Luke and the vehicles and are the figures on this with these this guy is they are sold separately and of course I have Obi-Wan with his robe off and once again, these guys are sold separately. They're not... They didn't come with the vehicle. If you're going to buy this vehicle, you got to buy the character separate. And so let's take a quick look at it. I'm going to go ahead and bring it closer so you guys can get a good look at it. And you can see it's got a little bit of built-in damage to it. You can see the paint is missing and some of the cut coverings are missing. And there you go. You guys can take a look inside the seats and see. And here's the back of it. And one thing that's kind of neat about this toy is it actually comes is on wheels. So it has a hovering effect because this is supposed to be a hover vehicle. And the wheels are spring loaded. So when you're rolling this thing down the road, it gives the appearance of hovering. See that? And then another neat thing that it does, and if you look in the cockpit, you'll see there's a gear shifter. And that is actually how you raise and lower those wheels. So there is a landing position. So what you're going to do is pull back on the lever, and it pulls the, see the lever's back, and it pulls the wheels up in. So then when it sit, it just sits on the ground flat. And then once you put your characters in and they're ready to go, you would swing this forward and the rate the wheels will pop back out and it's in hover mode. And then it can go down the go down the street. And here I'll show you those wheels going in and out again. So you pull the lever. I'll try to get the, pull the lever back. They go in. You push it forward, they pop out. Pretty simple. And this thing actually has another little feature. It's kind of cool. I'll show you. What you're going to do is you need something for it to smack into. I've got a little piece of cargo here. And if you look really closely in the very front, you'll see there's a little tiny button right here. And what that button it is does is it simulates crash damage. And I don't believe he crashed it in the movie but what you're gonna do is find something for the vehicle to run into and you push it along until the button smacks into something so hmm. that didn't really work so well I think the hood actually has to be closed okay well that's a little anticlimactic but anyway so what you have to do here is you have to make sure the hood is closed and you'll hear it snap shut. There's a little latch you can see there. So you'll shut it and then you need more of a running start than I got on this table here. But what you would do is you would slide the car along or the land speeder and it's going to bump into something. And it's supposed to hit it a little harder than that. But it would hit it hard and then you have to look closely but the lid or the hood actually pops open so when you crash there you go it's it, I know there's not much to it and you gotta look closely but if you watch the hood when I hit this button actually pops open 
and then you can lift the hood and see what's under the hood of the land speeder and it's just a sticker that is supposed to be internal workings and I suppose if you wanted to you could put some accessories in there let's see we'll go ahead and put an accessory in there we have Luke's grappling gun and there you go now it's in the trunk just like a beetle and let's see if we can get it to snap open here there we go that's what it's supposed to do pop open go get your grappling gun out you do some repairs Close the lid back up and hop your guys in and off you go. And so let's go ahead and put Luke. Now the figures do fit in here, but it's a tight squeeze and you got to kind of squeeze their finger, their legs together a little bit, but they will go in there, but make sure they're in the seated position first. You kind of squeeze at the knees and they slide right in there. And you can see it's not totally to scale. The figures fit in there, but you know, it'd be nice if you could get their hands under the windshield or so. But you know, it's a little bit smaller than the actual figure. But that's all right. It still works good. And there you go. And it's still, even with two figures in it, it still does the, it's got a little bit extra weight on it, but it still does the hovering a little bit. But there you go, everyone. There is Luke Skywalker's land speeder from Episode 4, A New Hope. And thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.